If you don't know what's on your Experian and Dun & Bradstreet business credit reports, how could you expect to get approved for business funding? Not every single credit bureau is going to update like personal credit bureaus do. Personal credit bureaus are going to update, you know, um, every single month, okay? With business credit, however, they don't have to report every single month. There are some that report quarterly. There are some that report monthly. There are companies, there are banks that are starting to dig a little bit deeper into these business profiles. Here's why. In this video, we're going to show you exactly what the banks are going to see and how you can go ahead and prepare in advance. Let's go right into it. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we're using MyScore IQ. For those who don't know, MyScore IQ is another way for you to get access to your business credit reports and so much more at an affordable price. You can actually see all of this for $1. And if you decide to go ahead and keep it, then you can go ahead and then you'll be charged the monthly fee, all right? We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Experian credit report, okay? So this is one of our clients' uh, you know, profiles that, we, that you guys can see here. And as you can see, their IntelliScore is at 94, okay? And then when you click that, that's gonna break down a little bit more of exactly how what makes it a 94 okay but here you can guys can spend more time on the education center a little bit later so then this goes into your financial stability risk score and it also lets you know not only the score but how much is the risk and it says 68 percent of businesses would score less favorably so that's actually doing pretty good okay then it goes into your business info this is crucial because so many times people are probably thinking to themselves well you know what how can i determine you know what the banks are going to see and all the rest of this stuff. Well, listen, this is how you see what the banks are going to see on your business credit report before you even apply for any type of funding. Okay. So as you guys can see here, it's going to be your sales revenue, your address, your business phone number, how many years in business, your company website, also key personnel as well too, your SIC codes and your NI, their NAICS codes. Okay. And this lets them know exactly what type of business and what industry that you're actually in, because this is going to help them when they're determining if you want to get business business funding, what type of credit cards, and what type of uh, funding in general you're going to apply for. They need to know what type of businesses this is. The reason why this is important is because sometimes this information is inaccurate. And so you most definitely want to make sure that, that everything is showing up the way it should be, okay? For those who don't know, MyScore IQ is another way for you to get access to your business credit reports and so much more at an affordable price. You can actually see all of this for $1. And if you decide to go ahead and keep it, then you can go ahead and then you'll be charged the monthly fee, all right? Then it's going to go into the trade lines, also known as trade payments, okay? Now, this goes into, this is going to break down each category as well, too. So, it's going to go into uh, what the name of the, uh, the actual trade line is, the date that it was reported, what the terms are, the most that you spent, the balance, so on and so forth, okay? Then it goes into additional trade lines as well. Now, these may be accounts that have not been updated within the past three months. Why is that important? Well, not every single credit bureau is going to update like personal credit bureaus do. Personal credit bureaus are going to update, you know, um, every single month. Uh, that's typically what's going to happen. And it's very rare that they do not report unless the account is closed. For business credit, however, they don't have to report every single month. There are some that report quarterly. There are some that report monthly. Uh, you know, so it just really depends on what the account is for sure. But you want to make sure that you're checking this uh, quite frequently so you know exactly what's showing up and what's not showing up. Okay. And then next is going to be your income. Increase. So if there are companies that inquire you know, to try to, to pull your business credit report, this is going to show up here, along with anything that's collections or public filings, such as bankruptcies, collections, judgment filings, tax liens, which, by the way, these two are no longer on personal credit reports. So keep that in mind. And UCC filings as well. Now, again, that's what's going to be on your Experian credit report. Now, Dun & Brash is going to be pretty much about the same thing. And in this particular case, you're going to have your Paydex score and, of course, your DMB rating as well, too. This is going to go not just give them a risk indicator, but this is also going to give them the financial strength as well, too. And, of course, you have your regular business info, your business facts, your classifications. This is going to go a little bit deeper. As you guys can see here, it goes a little bit more deeper into the assets and liabilities. So cash, accounts receivable, unmarketable securities, things of that sort. Guys. They, uh, no, there are companies, there are banks that are starting to dig a little bit deeper into these business profiles. Here's why. A lot of people say that they have businesses, but they really just have businesses just to build 
business credit. But the thing is, is that if you don't have a legitimate business with legitimate business revenue, then these companies are probably not going to approve you every single time for different types of funding. But if you have a legitimate business source and you have real profits, real revenue, then you most definitely going to qualify uh, for more funding than a person that doesn't have everything in, you know, in order. OK. And then, of course, it's going to go into your liabilities. It's going to go into your government activity. I'm talking about a lot of different things that, you know, will make a huge difference. Because, again, when you're thinking about you know, like personal credit, you're like, OK, here's my social run my credit and then they can just see it and they just move on. With businesses, there's a lot of different arrangements that businesses may have, and you never know that that could affect ownership. That could affect you know the overall uh, amount of debt that a company has. So all these things are going to play a major role as you're looking to get business funding, especially if they're looking at your Dun and Bradstreet as well too. And this goes a little bit deeper as well too into operations and special events and history as well, guys. This is a very deep dive into the information that they are providing. Then they go into trade payments as well too, and then of course you go into your collections and public filings as well. All right. So as you guys can see here, it's very detailed. The information that Dun & Bradstreet is giving over to the banks, as well as the type of information that you can see on your Experian Business Credit Report as well, too. Not only can you get this with My Score IQ, but there's so much more that you can get with that as well, too. So if you guys are interested in actually getting My Score IQ, you can actually sign up right down below, and the link is below so you can learn more, or you can get all of that. You can get access to everything I just showed you for $1, guys. You can go ahead and try that out and see if that's a good fit for you, especially if you're looking to increase not only your business, business credit score. But if you're looking to get business funding, especially in the future, you most definitely want to make sure that you have your eyes on this in advance so you can see exactly what the uh, what the business credit bureau see. If you like this video, you most definitely going to like this next one. See you there.